Yo guys, what's going on? Zace is here today with another video. In today's video, we are going to be talking about the most recent update here in Escape from Tarkov. Now, it was just a little baby hot fix or a little baby maintenance, whatever you want to call it, but there was a very important change that happened here today. And if you don't follow Battlestate on Twitter, if you don't watch the feed in the launcher, or you don't read the patch notes, then you might not have any idea this change went through today. So here we are. This is why I'm making the video. As always, make sure you leave a like on the video here today and you are subscribed to the channel for more information, tidbits, money guides, all that stuff here. Um, you'll enjoy your stay. I can promise you that. So make sure you hit that sub button. So I'm going to throw the tweets on screen for you guys. This first one here is after the maintenance is complete. So you'd have to read the thread. But the first tweet is, now when a blacked out limb gets shot at... The damage will be distributed across all non-destroyed limbs. Before this, blacked out parts also counted for distribution, which mitigated some of the overall damage. So, for example, if you got shot in the leg and your leg was completely blacked out, and you got shot again in your blacked out leg, some of that damage would go into that blacked out limb already, which is, you know, it's already at zero, so it kind of didn't matter that extra bit of health that you would lose. Now, that damage that was originally going into your already blacked out limb is going to be going into the rest of your body. So, you know, in the way I understand it is, let's say 35 damage was taken away from the, you know, round that might have 150 flesh damage. Let's say 35 of it was taken away at the overall distribution. Well, that now, that 35 is going to be redistributed amongst your other limbs. So, essentially, you will take 35 points more of damage. That's how I understand it. If I'm completely wrong there, let me know in the comments. Just lay it out straight up. But um, that's just how I interpreted it. I didn't do any additional research into it. So, don't absolutely bash my skull in in the comments if I'm wrong. But the next follow-up tweet says, This will eliminate situations when a seriously wounded character would not die after several hits in the blacked out area so all i'm hearing here is leg meta is back and it is stronger than ever that means rip rounds and that means ks 23s that is all i'm hearing right now and um i'm definitely gonna be playing a little bit with the ks 23 one of my favorite guns and i swear they absolutely just nerfed it in the ground now if the ks 23 is viable man i'm gonna have some fun in factory that's for sure but, um, you know, let me know how you guys are feeling about this change, man. This is definitely more anti-chad. It's going to shred you quicker. People are using flesh rounds, man. It's simple as that. You are going to get absolutely mauled when it comes to, you know, a 45 vector, a 9 mil vector, you know, even an MP5. All those fast-firing submachine guns that are pumping out 9 mil rip, you're going to be getting shredded, man. It is simple as that. Um, I personally am a big fan of rip rounds. I got, you know, roasted for it last time. But, guys, rip rounds are so good. Um, some of the best trades in the game include rip rounds. You know, one I really ship a lot is the Jaeger barter here for 29 mil rip rounds. It takes one green ice or one green tea, however you like to pronounce it. It's not loading in, but that's what the item is. Um, there you go, one green ice. I mean, this is 4,000 rubles for 20 rounds of rip. You're going to be good all day long with 20 rounds of rip. I mean, that's going to take down a PMC. And all you got to do is pay four grand for it, man. So, it's going to be interesting, that is for sure, but like I said, let me know how you guys are feeling in the comments below. Definitely just going to be adding insult to injury when it comes to, you know, running armor class 6 and then just losing it in a heartbeat. Literally, uh, fractions of seconds, it feels like, with the Vector 9 mil and the Vector 45, um, those fire rates are just insane. But, like I said, drop all this stuff in the comments. As always, make sure you're dropping that like, subscribe for new sponsors, and equipment in the description below. That's it for today. Thank you guys for stopping by. I'm out.